Hello, Dr. Kemp Hammond Doc here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I reset the diaphragm in a Jensen V21 driver. Now, on the desk over here, I have a Jensen V21 that is connected to a Leslie dividing network and a Leslie 122 amplifier. And I'm using as uh, my source the my Hammond Cherry uh, B3 organ, 1963 model or vintage. And um, so this is, let me let you hear what this uh, B21 sounds like when I test it. on up into the higher note it starts clearing up. There's still a little buzzing there. But now you can hear the buzzing here. So what I'm going to do and here's the way this is my approach. Um I think I said on a previous video that I had not seen anyone demonstrate how to reset a diaphragm in a vintage uh, Jensen V21 here on YouTube. So I would show you how I go about doing that. Um, first of all, I get some paper like this and fold it several times um, and I also grab my earplugs because it's going to get noisy down here put my earplugs on in make sure I can still hear you can still hear the buzzing. Now, what I'm going to do is take this paper and stick it in this note, in between two notes, so I can keep the sound coming in. Now, that's what I want right there. Now, I can actually turn that down a little bit. I'm going to turn that volume down so it's not so loud. Because what I want is I, I hear the buzzing, so I want to get rid of that buzzing. And so the first thing I'm going to do is move this back. I'll burn myself. There are four screws on here that you need to remove. One, two, three and four. So you remove those four screws first. They're sitting on top. And they are Phillips screws. So you need a Phillips screwdriver. So the four screws that are sitting on top And once these four screws are removed, you go get a bowl. OK, 
Okay, I usually like to I bought a, uh, several of these in different colors uh, down at the Salvation Army. Uh, so this is how I use them here in the shop. Now, by removing those four screws, I'm able to lift this plate right up. Okay? Which leaves me with this unit and the diaphragm. This is what it looks like here. That's this is, this, uh, the diaphragm is underneath this housing. Now I have two more screws, one here and one here. And these are the screws that I'll be removing next. And those are screws that I have to use to set or reset the diaphragm. So now what I want to do is not take the screws all the way out, but uh, leave the screws in, but just I loosened them up, and then I want to go ahead and listen to it again. So I loosen the screws up. I'm going to I'm going to twist it a little bit here. See, notice when I twist it a little bit, it got cleaner. Twist it to the right, it buzzed more. I twist it to the left, it stopped buzzing. Now I'm going to try to set the screws. No more buzzing. Now it's not buzzing. Now I hear even more buzzing in the other one because now that I've cleared this one up, 
it sounds cleaner than the one that was sounding pretty clear before. So I'm going to have to do this one the same way and clean it up. I have, um, let me hear these two. Well, no, that was the one that was buzzing, that I was buzzing before. Uh, this is the one I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, I knew that that one was buzzing. Let's hear how this one sounds. Yeah, that's clean. That's clean. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, so this one is clean. These two are clean over here. And, and this is one, this is another one that I will have to adjust. I'll do that in the next video. Uh, but as far as this one goes, let's try it again. That's clean. All right. Now, let's tighten that, let's tighten that diaphragm down. And we're going to real symbol. Put our screws back in it. Sometimes this is a good thing to, before I put all these screws in, check it out again. Just to make sure that putting the top on it didn't make any. So that's how I reset a diaphragm in a vintage Jensen V21. Since I have uh, one more that I need to do it on, I'll come back and uh, do that one in a, another video. Until then, this is Dr. Kemp, Hammond Doc, saying to you, have a peaceful and wonderful evening. Goodbye.